Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Mercedes and this is the Frugal Life with Mercedes. Today I am going to show you a Target deal and two Dollar General deals and I'm just gonna put them all together and there might be one other coupon haul too. I'm Like I said, I'm just gonna throw together the ones that I've been doing as of lately. Um, I have started getting back into doing some deals, um, but I haven't been as good about posting, but you know, I'm, I'm still getting back into it. And yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoy. And um, there was the Dollar General clearance event, and so you are gonna see that. So that started on the 17th. And on the 17th, I did go to a couple of stores and they literally had nothing. Like the one store had absolutely nothing and the other one just had like tinsel, which I don't use. So this is just a reminder that some days with couponing are gonna work out great and other days with couponing are not gonna work out great. And, um, and that's okay. You know, not all the deals are, for, not every deal is for you. Um, not every clearance event is for you. Um, you know, we all have different work schedules. We all have different family commitments and all that kind of stuff. And couponing is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to feel like a chore. So yes. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy and thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to check out my Instagram. Um, I post a lot of pictures of different deals that I do on there that I might not um, have the time to film. So just a reminder to check that out and thank you guys so much and until next time, bye. Okay guys, so this is my Dollar General haul for today. I got nine items and I spent $11.65 before tax. The only thing that I did not have a coupon for were these um, bubble mailers. I needed those, so I went ahead and picked those up while I was there. Um, but really great deals today. I saved $17.25. I'm not gonna go over all the prices, but like there was a $3 coupon for the razors and a $3 coupon when you bought the um, small spaces. And there was a coupon that was working when you bought the Lay's chips and the Pepsi. So I'm pretty excited with this deal. And then I submitted my receipt to Fetch and I got um, 109 points as well, which is really awesome. So here is a Dollar General haul. Um, if you guys have been on Instagram lately and you follow other couponers, on the 17th of January, um, Dollar General made all of their Christmas and holiday stuff a quarter. I did go to a Dollar General, well, I went to two Dollar Generals on the 17th, bright and early in the morning. They did not have anything. The one literally had nothing holiday at all. I literally combed that entire store. The other one had some like tinsel and that was basically it. So today is the 21st and my favorite Dollar General was being remodeled. And it just opened up today, so then I went ahead and stopped over there, and I picked up some holiday stuff. Now, they did not have any of the Febreze's or air fresheners or anything like that, the money makers that you guys are seeing. And I just want to encourage you guys that, well, I just want to encourage you guys, don't get discouraged. Um, you know, you see some of these hauls, and I think that is amazing, but you know, you win some, you lose some, because it's possible that next year I'll go and get three carts full of air fresheners or, or whatever. Um, and that's just not the way the cookie crumbled this time, but this is the stuff that I got. The only thing I did not have a coupon for were the emery boards. They were a dollar. I needed some emery boards and I went ahead and picked up some razors just because I haven't gotten any in a while. So I had a $3 coupon for that. The rest of the stuff was a quarter a piece. So I got five boxes of these Skittle candy canes and I checked the expiration and these are good till 2024, you know, so they're not expired. And these are usually $2.25 a piece. I got them for a quarter. Then all these spices, we got pumpkin spice, well, pumpkin pie spice, ground sage, ground ginger, ground clove, poultry, um, I think we got some nutmeg in there, all sorts of different ones. So these were a quarter a piece. And actually when I checked out, the girls at the counter 
said that they were really glad to have these out. Um, and these are good until the end of 2024 as well. So everybody is going to be getting spices. These are not just for me. Um, you know, I share the stuff that I have, but they're good till 2024. And a lot of this stuff you could year, use year round. So really great. I got this box. They asked me if I wanted it. I said, yes, please. And I got a second box just like this. And sorry for my makeshift display today. Um, I like to film in my parents' kitchen, but my dad is actually cooking his homemade lasagna. So when he does that, he takes up the entire kitchen, which is perfectly fine because his lasagna is amazing. And he only makes it a couple of times a year. So I'm very excited about it. Then I got these peppermint cookies. Now I love peppermint. So basically anything peppermint I'm all about. And I checked the expiration just to see, and these are good till November of 2022, but these will be eaten tonight. So yes, excited about that. I got two packages, um, of this tissue paper. Now what I like about this, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like cream and silver. So it's not like super holiday-ish, you know, with like Christmas trees and Santa, which I like because then you can use it year round, um, which is awesome. And then I got these ornaments as well. So of course this is not gonna hold now. So for everything you see here, I spent, the total was 1250 before tax. Um, so that's, that's really great. So that's, so I picked up the razors and the emery boards and the spices alone would have been over $30, um, you know, which is just crazy. So really, really happy about this haul and this deal. Here is a Target deal that I did today. The total retail before coupons or anything like that would have been $67.81. Um, the Red Baron pizza back there, I got completely free using Ibotta. Then the makeup here, one of these is like $11, um, and the other two little ones are, I believe, yeah, they're $7.49, but they were on clearance, and I had some Ibotta, um, I got Ibotta money back from those. Then the Revlon, we did have some Revlon at Target that was on clearance. Um, my store did not have any more, so I got these. Um, so they were $3.69 a piece, um, but I had a Ibotta offer back for those. Then with Target Circle, I got 50 cents off the Downy um, April Fresh the and 50 cents off the Downy Infusions and then 50 cents off the Bounce. Then when you bought three, you got a $10 gift card. So after Ibotta, Fetch, Target Circle, and using a gift card from a previous Target Circle deal, I ended up spending $16.37, but I also got a $10 gift card to use next time, so technically I spent $6.37, which is awesome. Um, in total, I got $14.49 back from Ibotta, so really great deals this time around. Um, I know a while back people were getting all the Alme makeup like as super great money makers, but um, I think I I was sick when that was all going on, so I obviously couldn't go to the store. And then the other thing is too, um, you know, getting it on clearance is going to give you the best um, bang for your buck. But since it wasn't going to be completely free, I wanted to make sure to get colors that um, I could actually use. So that was a little bit of a challenge finding colors that, um, like for makeup that I would wear. So anyway, this is what I got. Pretty happy with it.